Hi everybody, my name is Joe K. It's Joe K Music and welcome to another day in the underground. Today I'm going to cut right to the chase because we have some very interesting news coming out of Strange Music and the PyRx camp. For those of you that have been paying attention, AWAX just recently dropped a brand new project featuring King Iso. He was all over the promotion, over several videos have been dropped. And today, all of a sudden, after reaching number eight on the iTunes chart, it was ripped off of all platforms by Travis O'Gwynn over at Strange Music, which is very interesting because you would have thought that had there been a problem this whole time, maybe action would have been taken when the first video dropped or the second video dropped, or I don't know, the third video dropped. Who knows what's going on anymore these days over there? But for whatever reason, there is a vendetta to take down the project. And so AWACS was hit with a cease and desist order. He posted about it on his social media. So I want to take a look at that. I want to read uh, verbatim exactly what he had to say about the situation. First, though, I want to show you guys the screenshot of where the album was before it got removed. So at the very bottom here at number eight, you can see this is an Instagram post. So uh, the real King Iso was uh, tagged in the post here, but written in blood was sitting at number eight, which is pretty dang good. Given that fact, let's take a look and see what happened next. <laughs> As you guys can see here, uh, we have AWAX, just uh, the top post there is him posting on social media. Uh, saying, you know, hey, the album's out, um, uh, give your opinions, take screenshots of you, um, you know, supporting and purchasing the album. All was good. All was good. Then things took a turn for the worst here. As you can see, the, the next post here, which it says two hours, but this was posted earlier today. The Written in Blood album has been ceased and desisted by Travis O'Gwynn, Strange Music Inc. While I got nothing but respect for Tech 9 and what he offers as an artist and a person, his business partner, not so much. Not even a phone call, just drunk with power. This is all I'm saying about it. If you got questions, direct them to Strange. Hashtag PyRx. So that right there, very, very shocking revelation, considering, like I said, everything that has been dropped over the past couple of weeks. I mean, there have been several videos with King Iso in them. There was an Instagram uh, live post that had King Iso on there. I, I don't know what happened here. I don't know exactly why we're sitting here today talking about this and why Travis O'Gwynn decided he needed to hit AWACS with a cease and desist, but something's not right with the paperwork. Because, it, it look, people are people are... Blowing me up all day over this, okay? So I get it. But something doesn't seem right with the paperwork. If Travis has enough authority to send a cease and desist order, I would bet he probably has some kind of technically valid reason as to do so. Now, this is what happens, though, when you have a businessman and you have an artist and you have a business culture and a street culture and a music culture trying to clash together. It doesn't always work out the best. And that's what we're seeing here because people are going to argue that there was a lot of handshaking going on here. There was a lot of, and maybe there, may, maybe there's a completely solid contract. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Maybe there was a completely legitimate contract here and Strange Music and, and Travis O'Gwynn are totally in the wrong. But let's just say that they have a valid case here and that... AWAX didn't go through Strange Music to get the feature, and since it's a Strange Music artist, aka King Iso, that Travis didn't authorize it, and this project went out without his authorization. Let's just say that's the case. I don't know. I'm speculating. Let's just say that's, that, that's it. How does that look when you have Tech 9 shouting out the project, when you have... King Iso, who's a strange music artist, supporting it, promoing it, doing all this for it, they drop it. Nobody says anything at this point. 
Nobody says a freaking word the entire time. But then they drop the project and it starts doing well. And then you want to get the bag ready. Then you want your piece of the pie. No pun intended. Come on, man. This is, this is, this is why strange music fans are so upset, right? It's not because Travis isn't right in his business doings and everything technically that he's been doing. It's the way he's going about it. It's the way he's moving. It's the way that it's clashing with the culture of hip hop. That's the problem here. I guarantee it. I guarantee that's the problem. A hundred percent. Because when you have strange music that's supposed to represent, you know, for those of you that don't know, strange music, the logo of a snake and a bat, it's supposed to be basically the music it, it is medicine. For those in a dark place, you know, like the, the, it's like a serpent from Greek mythology or something. And then there's the bat, which is supposed to represent like, you know, they're nocturnal and like being dark places and things like that. It's, that's what it's supposed to represent. And if, if I had to give this another analogy, if tech nine is the music and, and the medicine that he's given to people that are in a dark place, maybe even sometimes himself. Then Travis freaking big pharma, and he just upped the rates of insulin and other, you know, uh, 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 very important medications that need to go out to the people. And and every time in that scenario, as right technically as that person may be, there's no coming back from it. It's a bad look. It makes you look like a piece of crap. That's it. That's why people are pissed off. That's why everyone's blowing up strange music right now. That's why they're blowing up AWACS. That's why they're blowing me up. That's exactly the reason. So if you can't understand that and you can't appreciate that perspective, then there's no saving you. There is no coming back from this then. Not only are you looking bad to the fans, but now... You got King Iso over here. I can't even imagine what he's going through. He, dude, he's been killing it for a long time. So has AWACS. AWACS has been killing it. King Iso, he's been over on Strange. He's been killing it. He's one of the very bright spots over there. And now you got him looking stupid because he agreed to do a collaborative album with AWACS. And now AWACS just got hit with a cease and desist from, from the owner of the label that, he, that, that King Iso was on. How does that look for King Iso? Do you think that that's going to hurt the brand of King Iso? Forget strange. King Iso. You guys let me know. Put it in the comments. Does that hurt the brand? Does it look bad optics-wise on King Iso? I would say I would be a little bit nervous to go purchase a King Iso verse and drop a song right now because you don't freaking know if Travis is going to come out of the woodwork with his pockets open ready to want his cut of the cut of the money you just don't know i hope this stuff gets taken care of i hope they can resolve this soon this stuff is absolutely insane and and i i think too you know the the fan so this is a fan um i wanted to include this screenshot because i i thought it was a very very good point but basically it's how do you does he not contact you about the videos you guys dropped then you guys had three videos from the project out already. Tr he, being Travis, already knew the album was going to drop. And he says, what, because you guys hit top numbers on iTunes? I, I think that's a valid point. I think that's a very valid point. That's what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't a problem until Travis saw that this, this project was blowing up then it became an issue. So let's see how this unfolds. AWACS, man, if you're out there, if you're watching this, I support the cause, man. I think what I'm hearing from a lot of fans, they're 100% behind you. They 100% feel like you're in the right. And look, like I said, whether that's right or wrong, technically, I don't know because I haven't seen the contract. I don't know what the paperwork looks like. But again, Travis, if you're watching this, if Strange Music is watching this, if anyone's paying attention to this video right now, public opinion is that you guys are in the wrong and people are pissed.
at Strange Music. They're not pissed at King Iso. They're not pissed at AWACS. They're pissed at you. They're 100% pissed off at you. I hope you guys can figure this stuff out. I hope we can get that project out. I, I'm sure there's some legality behind why AWAX hasn't come up with another uh, channel to receive revenue for his project. I'm sure he's waiting for all the legalities to kind of hash out, but keep an eye out. Maybe there'll be something soon. I don't know, but he's going to need your support more than ever. Even if that means just going and supporting them financially right now, like I'm sure there's like some merch he can send you some old projects. He can send you something like do something because this man was counting on this money. And now you have somebody messing with his money and that's never going to end well. So at this point, I've said what I needed to say 10 times over again in 25 different ways. I ain't got much more to say. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I got all kinds of other uh, underground related content on the channel. Make sure to check that out. Hit that like button. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Until next time, my name's Joe K. It's just another day in the underground. See you guys later.